we are all here for a very short time and our legacy many times is forgotten, but this bill would live long past us. It's symbolic of a grateful nation. As we had our amazing singer here from Korea who sang beautifully, God bless America. And I say God bless America, our home sweet home, a land that our veterans have fought for, and a land that they have died for. This is the time, today is the moment, and you are part of a historic time, and we urge your vote. Thank you. Debate has been done. We are ready uh, to vote. And vote they did. The Irvine City Council voted to convey 125 acres in the Great Park to be used as a veteran cemetery. Orange County is one of the largest counties in the nation without an official final resting place for those who've honorably served, fought, and died for our country. Local vets have been trying for over a decade to designate a place near home to be buried. But the idea didn't get off the ground until Assemblywoman Sharon Quirk Silva, chair of the Veterans Affairs Committee, authored legislation to get the process started. AB 1453 basically says that uh, we would look for an opportunity to bring a veteran cemetery to Southern California. The historic significance of the site is very important to many veterans. Bill Cook, former Marine and chair of the Orange County Veterans Memorial Committee, knows the relevance of this cemetery site firsthand. I happen to be a young Marine of 20 years old back in 1967 when I went through my, my training down at Camp Pendleton in weapons and tactics to go to Vietnam. We came up here by the bus load, were put on planes by the plane load. A lot of those guys that I came up with were teenage PFCs and Lance Corporals. As was stated in this meeting tonight, this was the last place over there on those runways that some American boys ever stood on American soil. And veterans that currently live in Orange County want to be buried near their homes. Families, of course, want their deceased loved ones close by as well. Assemblywoman Quirk Silva's brother was in the Coast Guard and her father served in the Air Force. My own father, who served in the Air Force, he was buried at Rose Hills, which is in Los Angeles. And for the same reason uh, that many of the veterans uh, are seeking this Orange County land, uh, it's that same um, idea that you want your loved ones close that you can go visit. Orange County resident Sherry Whitehead wants the same for her father. My father is 89 and he is not in good health. So he asked me to come here and speak on his behalf. And when a 30-year Marine Corps veteran says to his daughter, you need to do something for me, all I can say is yes, sir. Sherry's father served in both Korea and Vietnam. Sherry's husband was a disabled Navy veteran, and her mother was a Navy nurse. Her husband and mother are both deceased. Sherry also wants to have her dad close after he passes. I have just had his dress blues tailored so they are ready to go when he decides it's his turn. And I'm asking you to do the right thing and to fulfill his final wish. Thank you. And although AB 1453 started the process of giving Orange County veterans a final resting place near their homes, the journey is far from over. Once the process is complete in California, an application must be submitted to the federal government. The Department of Veterans Affairs will make the final determination, which could take several years. Assemblywoman Quirk Silva is determined, though, to see that process through. As we uh, see veterans who return home and we see those who've served, we know that we've sent them off to protect us, to protect our democracy. Having a place that's designated for veterans, a cemetery, is, makes me feel that what we're doing is really honoring them, that what we're doing is saying not only thank you for the time you serve, but now as the time you're laid to rest that uh, we are willing uh, to, to make uh, those steps to have you close to home. This report was produced by the Speaker's Office of Member Services.